here folks, it's Kikoskia here with some more Hearthstone, and it's time for the Tavern Brawl, specifically Clone Ball, one that we've seen a number of times since the Tavern Brawl format was introduced. The Legends of Azeroth are playing Clone Ball, your team is random legends each cloned four times, go get em champ! This is a wild Tavern Brawl, and you'll only get legendaries that are class specific or neutral. Winning your first match in the brawl gives you a classic pack as always, and though it says random legendaries, which would make you think that this is all entirely up to chance, there is definitely a level of strategy to how you play. You get to pick which class you want to enter into the brawl as, and considering I have a daily that requires me to win matches as either a warlock or a druid, we're going to pick warlock first and hope that we get some decent legendaries. And this is when we get Major Domo Executus and Deathwing. That could happen. Let's hope it doesn't. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. It seems our opponent had the same idea when it comes to class selection. Fell Lord Betrug is a pretty interesting idea. Archvillain Refarm is less good because it will turn my entire deck into random legendaries and the card that we get at the beginning of the match won't be so effective. I'm gonna get rid of those two and keep Betrug. Ooh, Finley Murgleton, that's not bad because that gives us a turn one play. We don't have anything beyond that though, which is a bit of a pity. What makes this brawl have strategy is the offensive play card. The next legendary minion you play and all your other copies cost three less. Let's play Finley Murgleton because we don't need to use offensive play for this one, and I feel like steady shot might be decent, but I actually want reinforce maybe? I think reinforce. I want the ability to make minions even when I don't have a play. Hitting my opponents in the face won't matter if I'm dead before I can get them down to zero with two damage a turn. Now what legendaries does my opponent have? My opponent does not have the same ones I do. His deck is completely random, just like mine, with the limit that each legendary appears four times. Let's see what you do. Are you going to do anything? You're going to save your offensive play card. Fair enough. Time to hit you a one. And see what you do now. Anything? If I manage to get this into play, this could be a very interesting brawl indeed, because I will get a lot of power. You are life tapping. And is that all? Is that a card that you want to play? There is our second offensive play, and the stack. And knowing that I have three of this in my hand, it's time to start playing them. There we go! I've never actually seen this card in play before. Goodbye, Cho'Gal! Not an especially useful legendary to have, except for it being a pretty big body. Now knowing that I have Arch Villain Refarm is very nice, because I could get a 7-8 with Rush out on the board. There are many ways that my opponent can get rid of this 5-7, however. But I could play another copy of it, and then... I could have hero powered if I'd have stuck with my warlock power, but I bring life. Well, that's pretty aggressive. And you have multiple of that. Well, let's see what we get. That's pretty nice. That's very nice. Time to get rid of this. And then play a few more of these. There we go. That's not so bad. So, I will get three copies of the next card I draw to play as rush minions that die at the end of the turn. We could get another Arch Villain Refarm. Now, my opponent has a lot of really cheap Alexstrasas, or alternatively, Ooh, Genzo! That was played at full cost. 
Another offensive play. What do I get? One threes. That's actually not so bad, because I can get rid of your minion. And then I think I will offensive play Rafarm. Now having random legendaries is much better. And that is not a bad one. That's not a bad one either. Sogoth the Slitherer. My opponent is at four. Deathwing could certainly uh, tip the scales in their favor. Offensive play. You're not likely to have Deathwing here though. What could you play that would mean you'd live? Sogoth wouldn't work because it would only block some of my damage. The Boogie Monster is not going to do it, I'm afraid. The Endless Hordes of Sherazin will strike. And then I will win. I think it's only fair to give you the win here. Well played. You got the final blow, a legendary that secured me victory. You did pretty awesome there. Pack earned. One victory for me. Will I get another one? Let's find out. Let's queue up as a druid this time. There are some pretty decent druid legendaries, though I don't want to get uh, Fangdraw Staghelm. I'm not going to be getting many spells unless I get Nexus Champion Sarad. Lunara versus Mecha Jaraxis. And I'm playing against another warlock. Ooh! The forest fights back. Doctor Boom. Yes, please. I'll keep that one. Can I have more? Baron Rivendare. Ooh, that's also really good. If I can keep Baron Rivendare alive, and then play it on turn one, play it on turn two. And then Dr. Boom, I could get some ridiculous Boom Bots going off. It's more likely that Baron Rivendare will die in the interim, but why not go for the dream, eh? My opponent didn't play anything. Nature's blessings Ooh, Tyrantus. I feel like doing this now. There's Baron Rivendare. Thank you. I appreciate your efforts. You probably got something much better. You could... Nope, you're just going to, uh... Life tap. That's fine. Can I get another Baron Rivendare? Another Dr. Boom? Seems pretty good to me. Because I should be able to play Dr. Boom next turn. And that is when things are going to get... Silly. Unless my opponent plays something better. Welcome to the Grand Tournament. Just the guard True Heart is not especially better. Okay, this'll make it four mana. And I can coin it out. And take advantage of all of the Baron Rivendare triggers for the death rattles. This is going to be silly. Oh yes, you're looking at how powerful they can be now. That 6-3 is not going to be able to kill anything. It's just going to go face. This time for sure. Tink Master! That did make them a little bit less effective. That was pretty good. Now, let the... Oh! Do I want to delay playing Dr. Boom for another Baron Rivendare? No, I don't. I'll save that. For now, let's do this. So I can make more room for another Dr. Boom. And then trade here so I can guarantee that dies. Marvelous. And hit you for lots. You may think that I'd want to, uh trigger as many of these boom bots as possible, but them being here alone is a substantial threat. Welcome to the There's another Justicar True Heart! It doesn't make your hero power even better, unfortunately. 
And just like that, I, th I think I've got lethal on the board. Well played. We got our second win. And now I'm going to switch back to Warlock. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst that could happen is that we could end up with terrible legendaries. Like, hmm, what terrible legendaries could we get? We could get loads of Nat Pagels and Law Walker Chows. That'd be pretty bad. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. Everyone seems to be playing Warlock, which makes sense. Okay, Archivist Elysiana is not very good. Nefarian, however, might not be too terrible. Shifter Zerus. I don't want to uh, use my offensive play on Shifter Zerus. Mogul the Ogre, though, that one could be funny. If nothing else, it's going to be amusing. You got rid of two cards? Our first card is a Plague Scientist. I this does give me access to any other minion that I could possibly want, out of literal hundreds of them, though. Probably a thousand at this point. Or more likely, uh... Okay, that's not going to be that useful. Next turn, I could offensive play to get two Mogul the Ogres. I think for now, hero powering and getting, uh... Elysiana. Not great, but... There's certainly one advantage to it. Oh, offensive play, here we go! Stalag, eh? Do we want to be funny here and play three of these? Yes. Go for the silly play every single time. You thought one Mogul the Ogre was bad. Thanks. Three of them is dreadfully powerful. All minions have a 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy three times. Let the hijinks begin. Please don't clear my board. I really don't have a play beyond what I just did. Oh, my card was Chogal. Well, that's not gonna work. Now, there's only two Chogals. And I could Archmage Vargoth to uh, be able to play the... Oh, hello, Jekyllick. How are you? That's just so funny that I'm gonna play it anyway. First! Oh, I missed and then missed again. But you can't miss when there's only one possible target. There we go! Vargoth should replay the uh, offensive play card as well. That'll be pretty powerful next turn, I think. If Vargoth survives, however. Vargoth may not survive. My opponent may Deathwing. Ah, another Jacklick. There is my offensive play. I feel like using that now. I'm playing a Lich King. Of the Not a bad play at all. Now let's see if I can get rid of Jacklick. No. No. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Heal three. Take 14 and an additional two. Randomness. And oh my, that did work. That did work. Now everything will be even cheaper. Death Grip to steal one of your legendaries. Uh-oh. Offensive plays being played here. What have you got? A taunt would be nice. But I could just completely ignore it with Mogor. None. Ooh, the Black Knight. Nice tech choice there. It could potentially save you, because if Mogor hits that, or that, then I might not get lethal. Now, first let's steal what you've got. 
Ooh, the beast. Do I want that? Do I want to play this knowing that you have another Black Knight? Possibly not. Let's actually play the beast. And then try and go for lethal. Let's go! No? No? Aha! Still went face. We didn't hit face there. No, we didn't. Will we hit face here? No? No? Yes! Two no's make a yes in mathematics. And so, my opponent has won. And I actually have synergy with Rend Blackhand because of Nefarian. No? Aha! Now there's only a 50% chance that the wrong target will be hit. Well played! Victory is mine! Shall we do one more? Let's do one more, shall we? Because I've cleared a daily there. Oh, it was Priest or Warlock Dominance. My mistake, I got that wrong. Let's play with Priest, shall we? Maybe I can clear that daily right now. It's more likely that I'm going to end up failing. Warlock does seem to be the strongest class for this, as you can draw your legendaries faster. And once they're cheaper, the two mana cost... Ooh! Veranda versus it's a mirror match! Leroy, Mukla, or Nefarian? Let's actually get rid of Leroy and keep Mukla. Remember when I got rid of that hand? Me neither. But that's okay. These aren't too terrible. Who Mogor again! Blessings to you. Hello again, how are you? Greetings. Can I get two more of you? That'd be fantastic. Do you have a four mana legendary that you want to play? Or a three mana one? You're thinking about it. I have a play next turn, potentially, but I don't really want to waste Leroy on just dealing six damage, especially against a priest. Oh! Coin. Camellios on... Oh! Oh, that is... That is not great. Oh, that's not great at all! That's a... Turn one gruel. Okay! My options are limited. You know what? It needs healing. It's now a 9-9. Mogul may help me out here. It's a lot more likely that... Well, now there are two gruels. I think my situation just got very tricky. But that's okay. I have a Mogor to help me. Tank some damage for me, Mogor. Just there uh, being one of you is uh, not going to be enough, sadly. We really needed about five of you at this point. That's 20 damage. No! It's only 11 damage! It's still a lot of damage. Now, can I somehow pull victory from the Jaws of Defeat? The answer is no! Mainly because of the fact that I don't have a way to block this. But I can defeat one of them, which I shall. Go, Leroy! Pyrrhic victory! Well played. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes your opponent Camellioses your offensive play and then gets a turn one gruel. That's just the way it goes sometimes. I won three times. I'll definitely take that as a good track record for the brawl. And that was four matches with Clone Ball, showing you just how well things can go and just how terribly things can go as well. It definitely has that swing element that comes with all the random legendaries that you have scattered across all of Wild, but those offensive play cards allow you to play things super early or wait until you have a board full of things that cause chaos, like I did with Mogor. That's a legendary I probably should craft at some point. But that would be for another time. For when we come back, folks, more Hearthstone! 
Will it be a deck that I've made myself? Perhaps one full of cards with random effects or the chance to not hit the target you aim for? That might not be a bad idea. I'd still need to craft a few things for that, but it's something to think about. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.